Hey, once again, welcome again to the kitchen with Chef Gio. Today we have a very interesting French cuisine in la France. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me if I can do some French uh, creme brulee. And I said, well, this is very simple to do. How about I make you a meal? And for dessert, I'll give you a creme brulee. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do filet barbe en écaille, des pommes de terre croustillantes. Uh, and I'm going to give you the dessert as a bonus. Stay tuned. We're going to France. And here we are here back. Now for uh, my mise en place, uh, we're gonna have two different things here because right now we're doing, I'm doing the creme brulee. And I'm gonna be doing the the fish, okay? So for the creme brulee, we all know I have five yolks of egg here. I have uh, I have about 75 grams of sugar, and I have exactly two cups of nice fresh cream, okay? And uh, I use usually use a nice quality vanilla stem, right? So what we're gonna do here right now is that we're gonna get this going because this takes time to go into the fridge. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take a steam and with the help of a knife, you're going to take all that beautiful vanilla flavor. I don't like to use uh, uh, artificial flavor, guys, because you know, it's not the same. Okay, so you want all that? I'm gonna put that into my milk. Cream, sorry. And you might want to keep this uh, steam for the sugar. Uh, you want to put it into a sugar ball inside, and that will give the flavor of natural flavor to the to your sugar. So you're gonna have vanilla sugar for any pastries that you want. And in the meantime, while I do all this, I'll put that into the fire. I'm gonna grab our egg yolks in here. I'm gonna put our sugar inside. Okay, I'm gonna wait for our milk to be nice and boiling. And now, we're gonna start, I'm gonna clean that, and we'll come back and we'll start with fish. Now for my fish, okay, I have I couldn't find the rougette uh, from France here in Canada because uh, you know, it's very limited the kind of fish that we can get. So I have here tilapia. You can use grouper, you can use any kind of a soft fish. I have four filets of fish, okay? I have two branches of rosemary. I'm gonna use that for the sauce. Uh, I have one egg yolk, okay? We're gonna use that to brush. Uh, or a little uh, pomme de terre, which is the potato. I have two potatoes, I have cut them already nicely because I don't have the small ones. Uh, what we're gonna do with the potatoes is that we're gonna cut them with the mandolin. Right? And this is gonna help us to make a little bed for the fish. Okay, just to give you an idea where we're going. Um, I have one pinch of salt. I have clarified butter here. I have about two tablespoons of clarified butter. I have uh, two tablespoons of olive oil, good quality. I have here about 100 ml of great white wine. We have pepper and we have one teaspoon of cornstarch. Okay, and we have pepper as well, and we have, we need two oranges, okay? So we're gonna cut all this, and then we'll come back when it's time to prepare everything. Oh, one more thing. We need uh, 300 grams of nice cream, nice good quality cream, okay? And I think that's it. So let's cook everything, let's organize everything, and I'll show you the process of the cooking. Now that we have our egg yolk and the sugar, 
well combined it becomes kind of a light light yellow now we know that this is ready for us to put the cream that we've been working on with the vanilla little steps at a time I just want to make sure that everything is catching Now you smell the nice flavor of vanilla. Mm. And now this is ready to put on the side. We're gonna fill up our, our tray. We're gonna fill up all of them and then we're gonna put them in the oven for another 25 minutes. Now for the next step in the creme brulee, we're gonna do a bain marie. Bain marie is that we're gonna take a container and fill it up with water boiling water to make your save, save, save some time. I'm gonna put all the creme brulee right in there. And we're gonna flip that into the oven and then we'll go back for fish. And we're back here now. Now after we blanched our potato thinly, thinly slice, slice. okay. We're gonna put the, the clarifying butter in it. We're gonna put the potato starch. And we come back to it. So now that we're back here, uh, we're gonna take a little bit of the butter that we had before, and we're gonna put the butter on top of the fish. And then we're gonna put that back into the fire. Now the yellow of the egg, you wanna take the yellow and you wanna Give a bath. The yellow, the yellow and the water, you mix them up together. And we're gonna cover the fish in here. I'm gonna put them on top of the paper here. So now we have our fish here. What we wanna do is that we take our potato. Now that we have our final fish all combined, we cover, we created a new skin made out of potato. We'll let it sit for another 10 minutes so they can get to know each other. Now what the next step is that we're gonna take our oranges. We're gonna squeeze our rosemary in there. Once our orange has been reduced a little bit, we're gonna add the wine. And we're gonna let that reduce by half. And then you can add some salt. Some salt. And pepper. Reduce your heat. Now we're gonna put a little bit, once this is being simmering. I'm gonna do little by little, I'm gonna start adding the cream. Little at a time, so you can incorporate properly. And we're gonna let that cook for 10 minutes. Now we have our sauce have been in the fire for about 10 minutes. We know it's ready when you do. If it sticks to your spoon, it's good. 
Now we're gonna take that out, we're gonna strain it, because that will be the sauce for the fish. In the meantime, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do here, in the pan here, we have our fish is ready here, and we're gonna take our fish, and we're gonna put this, the oil that we had, the two spoon of oil, we're gonna put it in here, and we're gonna put the fish upside down, and then we're gonna separate it, and I'll show you the process. And now that we have our final, final, Dish. I'm gonna teach you guys how to plate this. We grab our sauce. We spread that sauce. If you have a smaller plate is better. We grab our fish. Actually, before you grab our fish. And what nice decor. And voila. And now that we have placed our creme brulee in the fridge for about a couple of hours to chill, now that they're ready, they're ready for to torch some sugar on top. Usually what I do is I put the sugar in the strainer so we can do it even. And you can put the sugar everywhere. We're gonna let that sit a little bit. We'll come back to finish our fish. We'll come back to the to the dessert part. Et voilà, la recette du chef Gio. As always, I say we're gonna try to see if everything looks good. I know. You see the expressions in my face. No, no one does better fish than the French cuisine. It's fantastic, it's formidable, it's everything combined into one dish. Now, after the beautiful fish, we're gonna try our dessert. You can't get better than that. Mmm, delicious. Delicious, creme brulee and fish. Oh, c'est caille de pommes de terre. Please, try this at home and let me know your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is delicious. Next week, we're going all the way down to Italy. Italy, the beautiful Italia, Rome, Venice. We're gonna give you, bring you some delicious dishes to your home. Chef Gio, on the road.